Standoff with Iran exposes Trump's credibility issue as some allies seek more proof of tanker attack. As U.S. allies press the Trump administration for more concrete evidence linking Iran to attacks on two oil tankers in the Gulf of Oman, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said Sunday that additional proof will be forthcoming. A. Japan and Germany have requested stronger evidence than the grainy video released by the Pentagon appearing to show an Iranian patrol boat removing from one of the ships an item said to be an unexploded mine. Pompeo said in appearances on CBS's Face the Nation and Fox News Sunday that he had spent much of the weekend talking with his counterparts in foreign capitals. It was an implicit, there is no doubt, he said on Fox News Sunday. The intelligence com Last week's tanker attacks have laid bare a credibility problem, burdening the Trump administration as it faces skepticism, especially from wary U.S. allies urging maximum restraint to avoid a spiraling confrontation between the United States and Iran. Pompeo bristled at the suggestion that the U.S. conclusion was under question, including German Foreign Minister Heiko Maas' request for more information because the video was not enough. The German foreign minister has seen a great deal more than just that video, Pompeo said on CBS. He will continue to, Pompeo said some countries just wish this would go away. But he called it a f I am confident that as we continue to develop the fact pattern, countries around the world will not only accept the basic facts, which I think are indisputable, but will come to understand that this is an important mission for the world, he said. But the uncertainty has persisted. Some is rooted in it, and some skepticism is aimed at Pompeo. In laying out a little, we have confidence that Iran instigated this attack, he said Sunday when asked about the discrepancy, adding, I wouldn't have said it if the intelligence community hadn't become convinced that this was the case. Tensions between the United States and Iran have been deteriorating since early May, when the Trump administration stiffened its enforcement of oil sanctions in an attempt to drive Iran's oil revenue to zero. At least two times this month, Iran, or Iran-backed Houthi rebels in Yemen, have tried to shoot down U.S. drones. One targeted drone, though he sidestepped questions about sending more American troops, ships, warplanes, or submarines to the region, Pompeo said on Fox News that the United States will guarantee the safe transit of oil through the Strait of Hormuz. This is an international challenge, he said. This is important, Aaron David Miller, a former State Department official now with the Wilson Center, said Pompeo is attempting to build a case to get international support so the United States would not have to act alone if it responds. Many European questions about the U.S. account of what happened to the two oil tankers have swirled since Japanese shipping heads said the Kokika Courageous was hit by a flying object, not a mine, as the U.S. video suggested. The Saudi and British governments agreed that the grainy U.S. video seemed to point to Iran, with the Saudi Crown Prince, Mohammed bin Salman, calling on the international community to take a decisive stance against what he called Iranian expansionism. In a story published Sunday by the Saudi-owned Ashark al-Assad newspaper, the Crown Prince did not offer new evidence of Iran's culpability in the tanker attacks, according to a transcript of his interview. Saudi Arabia v but Germany's foreign minister said the video was insufficient to make a final assessment of blame. The Japanese government is similarly unconvinced, according to that Tokyo has asked Washington for concrete evidence to back its conclusion Iran is responsible. The US explanation has not helped us go beyond speculation, a senior government official told Japan Today. Similar demands for credible proof have been made by a senior European Union foreign policy adviser and by Jeremy Corbyn, who is a leading member of Britain's parliament. Taken together, the remarks represent an extraordinary display of refusal to take the administration's assertions at face value. Democratic presidential candidate Pete Buttigieg said the Trump administration's low credibility has added to confusion about what happened. 
It's a little distressing to think that, because this administration's credibility is so low in general, I think a lot of people are thinking twice at a moment when America's word should be decisive, the South Bend, industry, mayor said Sunday on NBC's Meet the Press. That being said, this is not inconsistent with Iranian behavior that has been aggressive and often malignant in the region. The real question, several lawmakers have said the White House should not go to war without seeking authorization from Congress. Senior Tom Cotton R. Republic Adam B. Schiff, but he expressed concern about the influence of Pompeo and Bolton, both longtime hawks on Iran. Schiff Al Fahim reported from Istanbul, and Denier reported from Tokyo. Elise Vivek and